Josh, do you like using fake sneakers? Be truthful. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I, no, I don't think anyone, <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't, and I don't think anyone would like to wear fake sneakers. Okay. Or maybe there is some. There's some. Maybe I there's some so. people who team. You want to team, team, <laughs> team, team, team sneakers? sneakers? That's fair. Well, if you were going to go buy a pair of sneakers, where would you go if you wanted to like make sure you didn't get one? Um, I would go directly to their website, but typically like any hot sneaker is sold yeah. out instantly by all the bots. Um, yeah. But then you would have to go on reseller websites and maybe pay mm -hmm. a little more. That's true. So what we're talking about today is StockX um, and a lawsuit that has now been opened up to the public from Nike of all places. That's crazy. Yeah, and Nike is alleging that they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they don't know. Uh, they yeah. can't tell a fake from a real shoe. The fakes I hear are getting really good. Uh, it's not getting real good. They are really good. Oh, dang. <laughs> because now we go to here. Nike slams StockX over counterfeit sneaker sales in unsealed documents from the court. That's crazy. It, I, okay, so full transparency, I've bought Nikes from StockX. I also have bought, <laughs> I've bought shoes <laughs> this from is very, StockX. This is very disheartening. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like, so if you look at right here on, in this picture, it shows this tag. And this tag on the back has a, um, a QR code that brings it to kind of like the authentication page that like, verifies like the specific things about that shoe. Mm -hmm. So the whole thing is that, you know, you're supposed to send in, like you're supposed to, when you're buying the shoe, the shoe goes from the seller to StockX. StockX confirms it. Mm -hmm. They put the little tag on it. They do. And then they ship it to you. And then you're paying a little premium to have that little uh, sign. And before this whole thing popped up, it was kind of a sign like you need to have a tag like this yeah. Otherwise, you know, like, what what are you really doing? It might be fake. It might be fake if you doesn't yeah. have this little tag on it, right? Here. Tag. Like, you know, it's kind of like um, if you know, like Pokemon or trading cards, it's like having your card like PSA graded. Or yeah. Something. Maybe not like to that extent, but um, they won't. Someone check. Yeah. yeah so, someone yeah, check. Someone, someone checked it. Yeah. We have additional things to talk about. We'll get more into the article in a second. After you consider hitting that subscribe button, hit that like button. We come exciting topics like this one all the time. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, I will say, by the way, I wanted to, before anyone like they also sell these tags like on eBay. There was, oh, yeah, you, there was this you, yeah, you could buy these tags. So that little that little tag is not really going to tell you much. You would have to actually follow the um, QR code on it to like mm -hmm. see if that's um, already to like goes to that shoe. Yeah, to that shoe. So the Nike lawyers highlighted StockX efforts to downplay its deeply flawed, as they put it, authentication system and deceptive advertising practices because they yeah. are one of the, like, kind of, I guess, premier. forefront, the premier yeah. Yeah. Um, places to go get your shoes authenticated in this community. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have, like, Goat, and then there's also um, eBay. eBay also yeah, has something sure. similar. To yeah, the verification tag. process. It's verification, yeah. and it's like, I mean, this was supposed to be like one of the original like authentication sites, and you know, a lot this of this was the, the place to go to get yeah. your like shoe from like an authorized, like from a authenticated place. Mm -hmm. Like you, they were supposed to provide the like, the, the consumer like ability to like breathe easy. He's like, okay, yeah, you know, you didn't buy a fake. You didn't, yeah, you would not buy a fake, but it looks like. That's not the case because Nike also revealed it discovered a fraud ring mm. that got away with selling 1,800 products on the platform platform before That's it, crazy. they were stopped. That's so much. So this is basically unacceptable. And to kind of look at like what they're talking about. So this is from the actual StockX website. So this is from, <laughs> this is from 2022. Yeah. It's a bit damning now because, you know, it, there's a lawsuit, lawsuit yeah, thing, yeah. but is StockX legit? And you know, look at this. StockX, StockX is, is like they themselves. easy, trustworthy <laughs> access to current. Oh my god! StockX says that they're that StockX is legit. You know, 
why would StockX lie about StockX? That's true. Yeah. StockX is legit. It's the, it's the meme I of them giving it. themselves giving the medal. <laughs> Yeah. The president's medal. The president's medal, yeah. So here is, these are a bit outdated because, you know, it's... um. It's been a few years. It's been a few years. It's been two years since these numbers. So I mean, the only thing is that it's probably gone up at this point. Mm -hmm. So StockX reject, has rejected more than $400 million worth of product that did not meet authentication standards. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, that's a lot. Stopped 60, more than $60 million worth of fake sneakers from trading on the platform. It's like those must have been pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah, they must have been. Uh, they, it was they. They was missing a letter off the Nike. It's just Nike. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, on average, one million products go through authentication, and I mean, it seems like you know. Oh, seems yeah. like they're doing their job. Yeah, you would if you read this like, oh, okay, finally they're, you know, they're they're out here and. But can you trust yeah. them? Well, you know, yeah. all these other businesses and stuff trust them. Hmm. And you're like, okay, great. Well, I mean, after the backlash of people finding out that StockX is letting all this stuff go, there is now... Oh, that is bad. <laughs> a 14-day return policy, which... Wasn't the case before. So StockX notoriously before once you got your shoes, that was it. You should have you should have should picked have. the correct size. You should have like yeah you know. But I do think that this is to kind of um so go against the whole like oh you get it and then like you have it and you bring it somewhere and then they're like this is fake. Yeah, my my whole thing with this and this is something you know that a lot of companies deal with is that there is a potential that people will send back fake shoes yes i was thinking that yeah so so the, the funny thing is that now that there's a return policy 14 year day return policy there is a chance that mm -hmm. they could go and then get the potentially real shoe and then replace it with a fake shoe and then send that shoe back yeah saying that it was fake I received it and it was fake. And then you could probably just take the the StockX tag off and put it on the, on another shoe on the yeah. new shoe, oh, the, the fake shoe. Yeah. So I think that um, you know it's good that they're accepting returns in terms of like the consumer aspect. Mm -hmm. However, I feel like it's gonna be very difficult to maintain the environment that. Um, you know that they're going to have like like StockX is a marketplace for people to resell yeah. um, collectible items, not just shoes. But no, they like sell shirts, clothes, watches. They do a watches, bunch of toys, like, collectible like, toys. Yeah, all like cause I don't know, like a bunch yeah. of different things. So before you couldn't return it. Is is this no return policy? But now they're implementing it, which is a double edged sword because now the reseller or the person on the website using the marketplace to sell their shoes now has to worry about if they claim like they claim it's fake you sent them a real thing they got verified it gets to them they're like oh it it didn't fit or you know oh, like they, they yeah. say it didn't fit or it looks fake it looks fake send it back but it's not the same shoe you it's sent a, yeah it's a fake shoe it's which a is fake crazy. shoes you sent back or whatever the case may be so i think like it's gonna be tough because like for the consumer great win in terms of like you know like if, if you like if you're one of the all like authentic or that's a weird thing to say authentic shoppers where yeah. trying, like being nefarious and like oh you know returning it because yeah. like you're trying to scam the guy i think you're getting punished potentially from uh, yeah, yeah or I, it, the seller is also being getting more at risk yeah one of the things i do want to mention is that a lot of a lot of these sites too as soon as they start getting hit with like these like counterfeit reviews where they're like hey i bought a counterfeit it damages them where the there's brand. gonna it damages their brand it damages the company the and the credibility they, is out the window yes and i will say like because i've, I've shopped at other places like the real real where they mm -hmm. say it's like you're buying authenticated luxury but for the most part you see a lot of reviews saying that things are like fake yeah. and for the most part you as a consumer never know if it's real or fake yeah and... like the there's like a huge black market for a lot of these like luxury things like mm -hmm. birkins 
Yeah. Like, you know, I mean, it's just a bag, but it's an Hermes bag. The Bir- the yeah, Birkin. it's... You, it's Some it, of them can go for, like, thousands 50, of yeah, dollars. Yeah, thousands of dollars, 50000 30000 lots of money. It's crazy because, like, you think that you're buying, like, this authenticated by, a, like, yeah. authenticated by someone that's an expert, but in reality, like, like, most of the... stars, like, when they go... Yeah, that's that's what you expect, like, oh, you know, because they charge you money to get it authenticated and sent mm-hmm. to you, yeah. like, to have them confirm it. But, like, you expect it to be, like, pawn stars. Like, the, they get the shoe, and then they, like, I'm calling in my expert. Hey. But some, but some of the, the time. expert in here. He's, like, looks at it. He's, like, oh. But some of the times, these people don't even know what to look out for. And, like, you highlighted it earlier. Yeah. Where it's, like, where I said these fakes are, look, they look good. They're and you're basically like, the same. Yeah, they're, like, essentially. They're, they're basically, yeah, probably out of the same factory, too, it in some cases. It could be from the same factory, which... At that point, is it really a fake if it's from the same factory? Yeah. Like, it was sometimes it's like... cheaper quality. Yeah, it could yeah. be like the... Um, there, there's always the case where it could be rejected ones where like the yeah. quality wasn't like perfect. But also, it could just be... Um, sometimes they have ones that they sample and then they put off to the side like quality checks and yeah. then they take those ones and, and you're spending 200 you're spending a thousand oh, two thousand yeah. dollars on these things yeah it's really so like crazy the Travis Scott's and stuff they, it was like, yeah it's crazy for a lot of money mm-hmm. but yeah let us know your thoughts in the comments down below do you think that's you'd shop at StockX and if you ever did shop at StockX before like would you shop there again after you found out that basically they they admitted to not knowing sometimes how what to look out for. Yeah, I wouldn't shop. <laughs> you wouldn't shop there again. It's it's hard. It's tough because I mean, like, you just hope that you, the thing is that like you just hope that it's it's not fake. Yeah. But, but yeah, like now before it was like StockX tag meant something, and now it means a lot less. Yeah. And it, it's kind of sad because like if you if you ever been to like a they have like these sneaker convention stuff, and then a lot of times, um the the vendors there will have like. Uh, their various shoes, and they'll have the little tags on them. Mm-hmm. Say so, and say, oh, this like it's authenticated. Yeah, it's authenticated. Like you don't have to worry about it. And, like, but now you do. But now you do. Yeah, it's like it might be. I mean, granted, you said before that they had the fake tags, and you just put mm-hmm. them on whatever. But, anyways, um, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. What you think about this one?